Okay, here we have the quadratic equation x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And the question is, what is a good first step you could take to help solve for x? So part A says subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Part B says add 5x to both sides of the equation. Part C says factor the left side as the quantity x minus 2 multiplied by the quantity x minus 3. Part D says factor the left side as the quantity x plus 2 multiplied by the quantity x plus 3. Okay, so we can rule out A and B really quickly. And the idea is for a quadratic equation, to solve a quadratic equation, you want one side of the equation to be equal to 0. Well, if I subtract 6 from both sides, that's what part A says to do. I'm kind of undoing that, that, uh, that good form where one side is equal to 0. I've got this number now on the right side that's not 0. That's not going to be helpful. Part B said to add 5x to both sides. Okay, so if we add 5x to the left side, and if I add 5x to the right side, well, I can combine those like terms. Those will cancel. I'll be left with x squared plus 6 on the left and 5x on the right. But again, I'm undoing this good form where the 0, I've got one side of the equation equaling 0. So that's not going to be useful. Part C says factor the left side as the quantity x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. So let's look at that. And this to me looks to be the correct factorization. So notice if we applied the, if we multiplied it out, if we used, say for example, the FOIL method, the first outer inner last, we would multiply the x multiplied by the x, that would give us x squared. x multiplied by negative 3, that would be negative 3x. Negative 2 multiplied by x would be negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 would be positive 6. So the negative 3x and the negative 2x would be negative 5x. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is this is a correct factorization. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to point out. Um, I wouldn't factor it like this and then just multiply it back together. But again, just verification that that is a correct factorization. And this is good now because we've got the left side factored. We've got one side of the equation equal to 0. Once we do that, we take each factor and we set it equal to 0. So let's go ahead and actually solve this quadratic equation. Well, if I, want to, if I take x minus 2 and set that equal to 0, if I want to get x all by itself, I've got x minus 2 equals 0, I can add 2 to both sides, and that would leave me with x equals 2. That would be one of your solutions. And likewise, we could add 3 to both sides for the uh, equation x minus 3 equals 0. That would give me x equals 3, and that would be my other solution. So it looks like part C is the correct way to go. And again, this is the procedure. You want one side to be 0. Uh, if you can factor it easily, then that's a great thing to do. Not all quadratic equations factor nicely and easily. Okay, So you may have to use the quadratic formula. If it doesn't factor nicely, I would immediately jump to the quadratic formula, personally. But again, that's one more formula you've got to memorize. So let's see. Let's look at part D. It says factor it as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Well, unfortunately, that's simply not a correct factorization. Because if we distribute, x multiplied by x will give us x squared. x multiplied by positive 3, well, hey, that'll be positive 3x. 2 multiplied by x will give us positive 2x. And then 2 multiplied by positive 3 will be positive 6. But notice that doesn't give us the original quadratic equation. We would have x squared, our plus 3x and plus 2x, that's going to give us plus 5x. So notice we actually factored it incorrectly. We got the x squared like we should have. We have the positive 6 like we should have. 
but then we're getting this positive 5x instead of the negative 5x, so which means this is actually not a correct factorization at all. So definitely looks like the solution choice C is the correct answer here.